So do you know anything about Chinese New Year's? You didn't mention Chinese, so I can't ask you the other question. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kathy, Kathy Kimchi. A few of you guys have been asking me if I'm still cooking, and I still am. I just haven't recorded. Lunar New Year's is around the corner, and I am going to be cooking something special for you guys. So I have a special guest today for you guys, and he is my non-Korean friend, and I wanted to invite him to eat this Korean traditional food that I will cook for him. So here's Matt Mariah. Woohoo! What's up, Matt? Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> We're gonna cook some Korean traditional food today. Have you cooked before? I have, but not Korean food. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you. You're gonna help me out today. Can you be a good substitute? Yeah, we can do friend? it. Friend? Okay, alrighty. <laughs> so let's get started, guys. So the first step is to kind of gather the ingredients around just to make everything easier. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay, this is brisket, guys. Um, I already sliced them up into very thin, slight, like thinly, right here, and we're gonna use that to kind of make the broth and then make the flavor because beef really absorbs all that like soup flavors. So, can you turn that light on for me? Yes. For this one. And I'm gonna dump it. Okay. Is this, I think this is too low. Do you hear that sizzling? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Do you smell it? It smells so good. <laughs> I love the smell of sesame. Smells so good. Okay, so kind of stir it for me a little bit. So this, I learned from my mom, this is a tablespoon. So I'm going to use like half, because garlic makes everything better. I'm going to just season it a little bit. Get some salt. Oh, so the most important thing is that you have to make sure this rice cake is um, drenched in cold water for a good like 30 minutes before you cook. And then now I'm just gonna rinse this out. Take all the water out. Because usually everyone uses like the frozen ones. Yeah, yeah so make sure you clean it. Rice cake's gonna be dirty as well. Stop. Okay. Now we're gonna use four cups of water. One, and three, four. And then we're gonna enter the rice cakes. Okay, and then we're just gonna let it boil. Easy peasy. It will take you like 15 minutes to make it. Super easy. Yes, yeah, super okay. easy. So, when the soup comes kind of boiling, we're gonna put this hyangshin Um, It's kind of like, a uh, substitute. I can't say it's not MS it's not MSG. It's just like has like a lot of vegetables and soy sauce. So I say one spoon and two tablespoons. The egg mixture it's like oh this one's hard, so I'll teach you. Oh okay. So you have to gently go round and do it slowly. Make a circle shape. And from here, do not touch the eggs because then it's gonna bloat into a huge like egg circle. So we're just gonna let it boil. Okay? Okay. Alrighty. And let's just taste it. Always taste your food because you don't wanna serve your friends bad tasting food. Mm. Okay, you wanna try the soup? <laughs> Oh, it's really good. Yay! Are you sure? You're not lying? No, I'm okay, not Okay, okay. Is it salt? Is it bland or anything? No, it's it's perfect. Okay. Yay! Okay, so this is called tok mandu kuk. Do you want to say it? <laughs> it's a rice dumpling <laughs> cook, uh, soup, and then we just eat this on New Year's and Chinese New Year's. But I got some kimchi for you, cause get the kimchi, 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 kimchi. Oh yeah, and some perilla leaves. We marinate this. 
on some radish. And you just eat this with your soup. Take some rice cake and some kimchi. Do you like kimchi? I do. Okay. And you eat it. Try some. Is it hot? It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. I think I make it better than my mom. I'm gonna tell her you said that. Mom, I'm challenging you. <laughs> <laughs>